I hope you're having a great day. Hey, today I'm not going to do a makeup tutorial. I'm actually getting ready to go to the doctor. Um, I get Botox about every 12-ish weeks for migraines. Um, years ago, I was in a car wreck. It was actually like 13 years ago. And I never had a headache until after that. So now I get migraines and I've tried every med in the world. So... Anyways, I went ahead and just put on light makeup because they actually wipe all of it off to basically give me Botox like in my forehead. And I actually get Botox in the back of my neck and on my shoulders. So I won't have any wrinkles on my shoulders or neck. I know, you're jealous. <laughs> so I thought today I'm going to do some tried and trues and something news. So I'm going to give you reviews of a couple things that I've tried that either liked or didn't work out. And I'm also going to give you guys some tips on some of my favorite things. So let's get started. Okay, um, first of all, I'm going to start with some primers. You guys know that I've been trying some primers. And I kind of have everything like everywhere because I was trying to like take a picture. But I lost my little clicky button thing if you know what that is it's like oh I actually probably could have used I have a stylus I totally could have used it I mean seriously I would press it with my toe <laughs> to get a picture so I could hold everything anyways uh yeah you already saw it so here we go um so this elf prep and hydrate balm um I tried it a couple times and to be honest friends I just didn't love it so um I am not going to keep using this since I've started this YouTube channel, I have really been trying a lot of new things and my skin has not been very happy with me about it. Like it just keeps breaking out or has bumps around my nose or around my chin and it's just not been fantastic. So yesterday I went to Ulta and got some of my tried and trues because I was like, um, I just need to go back to those for a week before I try any more new things because my face is like, stop it. Okay, so this is a pass for me. That doesn't mean it's a pass for you. So everything that I mentioned today is something that I either liked or something that didn't work for me, but that doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. So um, I think you guys already know that I have pretty dry skin. Um, so it's I would say normal to dry. And I'm 42 years old, so I kind of have that aging effect. So if that's you, then you might like some of these things or maybe you won't. So this pass, um, the baby skin instant pore eraser. This was like totally popular in like the nineties, I believe. And I thought, let me go back to it. My skin's not like nineties. This I would pick over this, but I don't absolutely love it. Um, and then the elf poreless putty primer. This is something that is compared to, I think, um, Tatcha, Tatcha? I'm not really sure. I think it is. Um, like a really expensive primer. I do like this. The only way that I like it though is with a wet sponge. So if I wet a beauty blender and either beauty blender or the Real Techniques or a Morphe, those are my favorite sponges. Um, to be honest, I think the Real Techniques is my favorite. So, and they're a lot cheaper. You can get a coupon at Ulta tip right there. So um, if I wet a sponge and kind of wipe it in there and just kind of like almost like press it into my skin, I like this. Um, just to dig my finger in it, rub the fingers together and put it on, mm -mm, it doesn't distribute evenly. So there's that. Um, I also have been trying, I really like simple products. I have used their face wash, face wash often <laughs> and I really like it. Um, oh, I forgot my, I forgot my tried and true face wash, which you guys already know, it's purity. It's by Philosophy, and that's the one I went and bought yesterday also because I can use that all day, not all day, all night. Every single time I wash my face, my face never breaks out to it. It's never too dry. It's never too oily. It's perfect. Um, it is my number one face wash. I can use that. No issues. So when I was trying all the simple products, I tried the whole entire kit. Like I tried the face wash, and I was trying this um, micellar cleansing water removes uh, makeup cleanses and hydrates it's kind to skin so there's no harsh chemicals or perfumes or dyes or something so I bought all of them I bought like just the um, moisturizer and the um, night cream this and the face wash so the face wash I love this works really good it stinks I think I told you guys that yeah it smells bad I don't know what is what it is that makes it smell bad, but the number one ingredient is water and the second one is glycerin. So, you know, I've done something before where I just took like a little bottle and made it myself and I just did used water and it just, um, I think it was like four drops of glycerin and the rest of the bottle with um, witch hazel. And I have used that and I prefer that over this. So make your own. It's a lot cheaper, but 
this does work when you're in a pinch. Now, I was trying this for removing just like my eye makeup because I cannot use those facial cloths to like remove makeup. They are way too dry for my skin. Like I will wash them off and then I, I will take one of those makeup wipes and I will get all my makeup off and then I have to wash that off. And then what's the point? I might as well just wash my face. So I don't, I don't get it. So maybe it works for you. It doesn't work for me. So um, I was using this after to get any extra eye makeup off, but here's what I use. And this is one of my tried and trues. The Mary Kay, I know, don't judge me. That's like an old lady line or anything. Oil-free makeup remover. This is for dry to oily skin. I don't know how well you can see that because of um, it's a see-through bottle. You, you can tell I love it. When I have eyelashes on, when I have a lot of eye makeup on, I will take just a tiny bit of this and I will lay the little cotton pad on my eye just maybe for two seconds and then it just kind of melts it and you can just wipe it right off. Piece of cake. When you're traveling, nobody wants to travel with this. They do make travel sizes. But here's my tip is I take like maybe four of those little cotton pads, those little round ones. I put them in a Ziploc baggie and I just squirt just a little bit of this in there and then I close it up. So then I have like four of them with me. The cotton pads don't fall apart because I'm not saturating it. I'm just putting a little bit in there. And that's how I travel with this. So just just a little thing now what's next oh this and um, this is the stem cellular anti-wrinkle eye cream by juice beauty i got this as a sample somewhere and i have loved it it is more like a um it says treatment it's more like a gel let me squirt on the back of my hand i have really been liking this um you can use the applicator and kind of dab it i just squirt it on my ring finger and then pat it in um but it's just very hydrating sorry it's not focusing and i've really liked it there's a ton left, so I have quite a bit for I have to purchase it. But do you see just kind of like that glow right there? So it's very hydrating for the eyes. I actually used it after I got a shower today. Okay, um, I ordered the new Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Lip Scrub, and I got this um, Blue Freeze, I think it's called. Blue Freeze. Um, I, I love anything that's Jeffree Star so far. I have loved any product that I've ordered. I just ordered his concealers because you guys know I'm a concealer freak because of my under eye bags. I did not get the powder because I just didn't know what color to get. I, sh I could have just got translucent, but y'all, I have three big ones right now, and I'm just trying to use some of the things that I have because I can't just keep ordering and have tons and tons of stuff. So I'm going to use one more of the Hourglass. I have to have a little bit of left, and then I'm going to try the Jeffree Star one, but I've got the concealer. It hasn't been shipped yet, but I ordered it the day it came out. Um, out of all the ones that I have, mine just fell out of the box, the Strawberry Gum. I could just get a spoon that's how good the strawberry gum one is like it smells amazing it's my favorite i've tried like three or four of them and this one by far is my favorite so this one i do like this one's my favorite so if you're you're like oh i don't want to spend a lot of money and like order three or four of those because this has lasted quite a long time if you can see is it oh my gosh guys i just so wish you could smell this it smells just like bubblicious strawberry gum, and it tastes like it too. So we all use this. <laughs> the kids will even ask when they see it out on the counter, and they're like, Mommy, can we put that on our lips? And I'm like, sure. You know, there's nothing bad in it for them. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not sure about So they scrub it, and then they, the you know, best part is they get to lick it off and lick it off the finger. So there's those. Um, you guys, I've shared this with you before, but this jojoba oil that I got on Amazon, it's 100% pure natural. Cold pressed, unrefined, chemical free, and fast absorbing. From what I've been reading is jojoba oil is like the second best oil to choose from your own skin. So I ordered this after a recommendation of somebody else on YouTube and I started putting it like on my neck and my chest. Um, I've had skin cancer removed on a couple of places. So it's just a little, and I'm 42. I mean, when I was a kid, we put baby oil and laid out. I think I've told you this. Don't do that. It's not good. I actually ordered a swimsuit off Amazon that's long sleeve. And it's one piece. And it's really cute. Like, I called Jamie back and I was like, hey, do you want to be entertained? I'm going to try on this one piece swimsuit that's long sleeve. And, you know, when you order something offline, it's usually just a joke. <laughs> and I was like, I think it was not even $20. So I was like, for 20 bucks, I'm going to try it. And if it doesn't work, then fine, I'll just mail it back. It fits and it's adorable and it's cute and it covers. And I told Jamie, I said, so what do you think? Do you, Cause it has like a zipper here. So if you really want to look sexy, you could kind of just unzip it a little bit, but then that exposes the skin cancer that I had. So it's probably not, but you know, if I'm in the shade, 
or I got SPF 100 plus on. <laughs> so um, it's actually super cute. And Jamie said, it looks like it'll cover all the spots where you've had skin cancer removed. Bingo. <laughs> but he did say it was really cute. He did like it. So I've been using this oil um, in the evenings. I've been putting it on my chest and my neck and then whatever's left I rub together and put on my face as my moisturizer. I don't put that on in the morning. I'm just not ready to try that and then put makeup on. I don't know what happened. But I've also been using this on my tattoos. I have a few. Uh, I've got my watch on here, but I've got a few tattoos. And, oh, you can't see. You can't see my new one. And then I've got my ring tattoo. It's just this arm. <laughs> but I've been using this on them as well in the evening and it's super moisturizing. Great for my tattoos. Okay, I just purchased this this last week. It's the Garnier Skin Active Soothing 3-in-1 Moisturizer Day, Night, and Mask. So I guess you could put like a thick layer on and consider a mask and let it sit in or wash it off. I'm not sure. This is one was um, recommended by like Allure Magazine. So I was going to give it a shot. I've only used it four times, but all four times I've really liked it. It is thick. Um, it's a cream. So... It doesn't really smell like rose. I kind of wanted it to because I like like a light hint of rose. I don't want like bam and then it just sit around for a long time. I want it to like, ooh, that smells good. Like rose water, like facial mist. Oh, yes. I love that. I think there's one by Mario. Mario. I can't remember his last name. Maybe you guys know what I'm talking about. But I loved that. Sorry, getting fuzz off thing. So this has been good so far. I really do like it. Um, I'm going to continue to use it. This huge tub I think was like eight bucks at Target. And I just did the drive up. I know you're thinking, why did you drive up a Target? Go in and shop around. I was in a hurry. Um, this Becca Brightening Under Eye Concealer, I have been using quite a bit. I used it today. I highly recommend it. Like I said, it is very tacky. So I also use that with a wet sponge. Um, just wet it. I mean, this is going to last forever. Like I've been using it every day. Look, it doesn't even look like I made a dent in it. So highly recommend that. And it's very tacky. So I put that on. Then I put on my foundation, then I do um, my concealer, and then I set it. So, but this really is um, just, I don't know, kind of brightens under your eyes, and I just like it a lot. Okay, concealers. I ordered this e.l.f. 16-hour cameo concealer. I have really been enjoying it as well. I wish I would have got um, a darker color, but I ordered online, online, so this one's medium sand. I'm a neutral base. Um, you know, everybody has an undertone, like olive. Remember who told me I was olive when I was younger? And now every store that I go to, they're like, no, you're neutral. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm neutral. I'm actually extra. But there isn't that undertone. There should be, just for people like me. Um, so this is medium sand. Um, I do like it a lot. I think it sets really well. Um, I love the applicator. It's really big. So I like that. It's just like shape tape, which is more expensive. This one's a lot cheaper. So I like that. For a um, another drugstore concealer, like y'all, drugstore's killing it when it comes to the concealers because I have loved them. This one, I'm scraping to get the rest out. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define. This is shade C5. It's my perfect shade, but um, because of the brightness, can you see that? That's what it looks like. I think it's like five to eight bucks at the most and you can get it at Ulta and you can get a coupon right now if you spend fifteen dollars of drugstore um items at Ulta you can get a coupon for 350 off so run out and get you these two things okay and some more things I'm going to show you I think I'm pretty sure they have Garnier too and that's drugstore okay some mask um the Ulta beauty masks are amazing I got this calming rose one because my skin has been mad at me like Seriously, just within the last 24 hours, my skin's like a little bit back to normal. You can even tell there's still a little bit of texture right here. And I had a breakout there. And seriously, at Easter, it was all around here. You can even see there was one right there above my lip. It was just like my skin was like, I hate you. So, sorry skin. So, anyways, these are amazing because it's calming and just helps like soothe your face. So, this is what I take a bath and we'll put this on and I'll turn on Friends on Netflix and let it sit for 20 minutes and... As soon as, as soon as the first episode is friends is on, I'm out. Um, another one is, you can get those at Ulta. If I didn't say that because it's by Ulta. Um, Pacifica, this is the Leave Pretty Anti-Puff Patches. Um, these are for under eyes and dark circles. Blue Tansy Lin Linden Leaf and Kelp. This is for all skin types. These are amazing. They're always like saturated. So I will actually use them and then I'll save the little package. 
and then I'll just pat it under my eyes if I need it. This is a really good one. This one's really hydrating. So I highly recommend these. And these are really um, inexpensive too. They're like five dollars. I think this might be four to six bucks. So I always have a couple of these. I have a couple in my cabinet that I should have brought in here and told you don't buy them, but I forgot them. Okay, let's go on to sunglasses. My like my father-in-law teases me all the time because I always have tons of sunglasses and they're always wild. So the, I have two pair here that are from Key, which is in Australia, and I have a smudge on this pair and it was not going to look pretty. And yeah, they all come with um, holders, but for some reason, um, one of them I can't find. So this one's all nasty and I haven't worn these ones in, gosh, probably a month or so, maybe since winter. Anyways, I think these might be the Desi Katie. Desi, no, Desi Perkins. Yeah, I think that's, actually, both of these are. Yeah, both of these are. So it's Q-U-A-Y, but that is key in Australia. And I'm going to give a shout out to the people I love in Australia. Excuse me. <coughs> um, I watch Sarah's Day on YouTube. I love her channel and I love her. Um, she's like a fitness um healthy eater. She'll give you lots of inspiration to work out. And she just had a baby named Fox. So congratulations, Sarah. And she um, lives in Australia. And also I had a friend that used to live here. We grew up together and did a lot of bad choices, <laughs> Heather. And um, she also lives in Australia. I think she went over there for work and then got sucked in and fell in love and then had three kids. So yeah. Wouldn't I love just to jump on an airplane and go to Australia to visit her? And I love it when she posts videos of her kids on Facebook because I could hear their accents and they're just stinking adorable. So now that I've kind of wiped these off, these are the Desi Perkins. And um, key sunglasses are usually around $50 to $75, so they're not cheap. Um, but I have some cheap, cheap ones too. So I love these. These are just, hey, there's another pair there that I really want. You guys can see my light. Um, but I love how they just go from dark to light. Aren't those cute? Oh, I love them. I have another pair just like this. She has mini ones and the regular ones. So there's some that take over your whole face, which that's these. These, I believe, are Sunrise. And I don't know if they're even still available, but I'll link them below if they are. I know, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm busy. Don't, don't bother me. I'm reading my book. That's what they say. Like, no, nope, too good for you. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. If you guys know who I am, like, I'm not too good for anybody. Okay, so that's two that I love. These are from shopmissusa.com or shopmissa.com. I'll link it below. These are a dollar. See? Mm -hmm. These are a buck. But I love these. They And they're good ones if you want good ones. I cannot talk. I never can talk. So just sorry. Um, they're great for like if you need to pull, you know, pull your hair out of your face or just pull them on the top of your head. These will actually like pull, you know, they get stuck and you're like, ah. I mean, you can take them off and set them up there, but just to lift your hair back, that's not going to happen. Get the dollar ones. These are also from the dollar shop miss a or shop miss USA. I can't remember what it is. I told you I'll link it below. And some of these might not be available because I've had these. They're made in China, of course. What does this one say? It doesn't say. It just has a number on it. These are the same. From the same company. And you never know what you're going to get. These are dark. It's like dark time right now. Like night night. Mm-hmm. That's what these are right now. Okay. Are you? Are we focused? I can't tell because these are so dark. <laughs> so, yeah. These are both a buck. Um, I ordered, I think, like six pair. And I ordered a whole bunch of fun stuff. Which I'll do that again. And then show it to you guys. And show, you know, what you can get for like a dollar. Some things on there are a little bit more than a dollar. But... Um, I think I ordered like six pair and only two of them came like they're adults. The rest of them were kids. So I gave them to my kids. Okay. Um, lip glosses. We are moving on. I just have three other things. So we're almost done. This is that Victoria Duke, um, lip gloss that I told you, you can actually, um, I think make the scent yourself. And then this color is, um, hottie. So I've been loving this lip gloss. It just, it looks good on top of everything. It looks good by itself. Um, I do not like the applicator. So if they had like a little applicator, because when you go to the back, look, it kind of, mm -hmm, see how it like frays a little? I don't like that. So there's that color on the back of my hand. Very glossy. She's so glossy. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
This one is by Elf, and this is Champagne Glam. This is, I think the third one. There's a big truck out there. I think this is like the third one of them. So it's just looks wet on your lips. So wear it by itself. It's this one on the bottom. Okay, this is the Victoria Duke. And this is the Elf. Look at how it just looks wet. And the Elf one comes in different shades too. This one's the more nude. It says champagne. So yeah, more nude. Aren't those? Oh, let's put one on. Shall we? We shall. We use the elf one. I don't want to accentuate that nasty thing about me, but whatever. What time is it? Let's let's get this party going. White um, Barn Candle, which is with Bath and Body Works, has been having their buy two get two free um, candles. I think that just ended, but they always have some sales coming up. Always have coupons. This one is Fresh Cut Lilacs. This is one I buy every single spring and I put it in the bathroom. It smells exactly like when you're driving down the street and the windows are cracked and it's 70 degrees and it's beautiful outside and you drive by and you're like, what's that smell? Something sweet. Something smells so good in the air. And you pass a lilac bush. That's exactly what this smells like. Years ago, my mother bought me a lilac bush for um, Mother's Day, and we planted it in the back, far back in the very corner of my um, backyard, because it does attract bees, I think, because of the scent. Is it bees? I don't know. Bugs. Something that flies, and the kids are like, eh. So we put it back there, and a couple days later, it just started looking not, not so great. So I went out there and watered it and put some fresh soil around it, and I'm like, okay. It. and I'm notorious for killing things but I was trying because I really wanted a lilac bush and um I went out there like four days later the thing had seriously moved it uprooted and moved away and I was like what the hell just happened so what actually happened is we have like an electrical wire thing that's actually behind our neighbors and a gentleman at one of the gardens told us that if they fill that current underneath in the soil, that it will actually pick itself up. So it's picked itself up and moved and then it died because I didn't replant it. True story. I can't make this stuff up. Okay, moving on. Uh, next candle that I just now found. I don't know if this is a new scent, but it's called Paris Cafe and it literally is like chocolate coffee. It's like... It's, it's better than a Starbucks mocha. Better. I put this in the kitchen and every single time I have somebody come over, they're like, oh my gosh, are you making like brownies, but then brewing coffee at the same time? It's not a bad idea. Hmm. Almost done. Okay. On to two food items that I have just recently found from, one's from Target, one's from Costco. Hashtag Costco um, and Target. So these are called Oat Mega. These are... Um, I've got two flavors. This one is the peanut butter, and the other one is chocolate brownie. So I just ordered both of these, and here's um, kind of the nutrition breakdown. The peanut butter, are they the same? I think they are. Um, 200 calories, um, 22 carbs, only 5 grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, um, 7 grams of fat. It depends on what you're watching. I always look for the calories. I look for the carbs. I look for the sugar and I look for the protein. That's what I look for when I look at foods. So grass fed whey protein, um, chicory root fiber, protein crisp, blah, 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 cornstarch, peanuts, gluten free oats, tapioca syrup, natural flavor, sunflower oil, chocolate liqueur, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to read it out to you because we'll be here all day. Um, let's see. Are they the same? They are exactly the same. So, no matter what you get. These are both really yummy. I eat one of these after I work out. Okay, Costco. today. These are Snack Factory Pretzel Crisp Dark Chocolate Mint Crunch. 
I don't care what's in them. I don't care if these are made from the most precious thing in the entire world that we should be saving. Everybody should have a bag of these. I'm not kidding. Do we want to talk to calories? Sure. I'll just go over it, but I don't care. Um, let's see. For five of these, which there's, there's those like thin pretzels. So that's a, that's a good amount. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I probably eat 10 because I just grab five. And then within five minutes, I'm like, I have to have five more. Okay. So for five of them, I seriously just got lip gloss on the bag. Whatever. She doesn't mind. There is 19 carbs, less than one gram of fiber, 10 grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. So made with jaw dark chocolate, and that tells you everything that's in that. And then tapioca syrup, natural flavoring, pretzel crisp, salt, schmear, schmear, schmear. Who cares what's in it? Just get you some and get them today. Put them on Amazon, go to Costco, do Costco delivery, whatever you have to do to get a bag of these. You will thank me. Oh, yes, you will. Okay, friends, that was the longest video ever. So next time, this is my first time doing this. Next time, I won't do as many products. But I hope you found some things that you can try that you will like. And I hope I gave you some tips on things that mm, didn't quite work out for me and maybe save your bucks. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to share. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day. Blessings. Bye-bye. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, Faye. Mm. Mm. I'm just on. Oh, sorry, friend. Oh, yeah.